Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Galvin and I'm going to be teaching you your science lesson today. We are going to be learning about force and motion. We are going to start with motion. Motion occurs when an object or person moves from one place to another. So this car right here, moving across this desk, is motion. Force. Kate pushes the tether ball to make it move. Force is the push or pull on an object. Force makes the object move or change direction. So this ball right here, if I push this ball across the desk, that is force. If I pull it back towards me, I'm also moving that with force. Energy. Susie uses energy to push off the ground to make her skateboard move. Energy is the ability to do work. You need energy to make an object move. So this pinwheel right here is not moving. If I want to make it move, I have to use energy. And we can make the pinwheel move. Work. When you do work, when you push a friend on the swing, your force causes the swing to move. Work happens when a force used to move an object moves another object. So force, if any of you have ever been bowling before, and you have a bowling ball, and you have a bunch of pins lined up, when you roll this bowling ball, and you hopefully, hopefully hit the pins, and you knock some pins over, that is work. I'm going to roll it again. And now I wanna roll it again. Oh, and I got one more. Yay, I got them all down. <laughs> okay. Next we have friction. Friction is a force caused when two objects rub against each other. Friction causes objects in motion to slow down. So this is a spinning top. Who thinks that when I spin this top, it will just spin forever and ever and ever and ever? You're right, it isn't gonna spin forever and ever and ever it's gonna stop, and it's gonna stop because of friction. Let's see what happens. It's spinning. It looks like it's starting to slow down some because of the friction from the bottom of that top on the desk. Yeah, it's starting to wobble, getting slower. And there it goes. So it did not spin forever and ever and ever. Friction caused our spinning top to stop. Push. Tommy pushes off the ground to move his skateboard forward. Push is a force that moves an object. Often pushing an object moves it away from you. So if I have my chair right here. And let's say, oh, it's too close to me, right? I want to push it away, and I have pushed my chair away. Pull. Pull is a force that moves an object. Often pulling an object moves it closer to you. So before I pushed my chair away, and now I think, oh, I want it back. So I'm going to pull my chair back to me. Straight. The bee flew in a straight path. Straight is a type of direction or path an object can move. So a straight line is normally the shortest distance between two points. And if I'm walking in a straight line, that's a straight line. If you've walked on a balance beam or on a piece of tape, that is walking in a straight line. Circular. This Ferris wheel travels in a circular pattern as it moves around and around. Circular is a path or direction in the shape of a circle that an object can move. So our pinwheel 
moves in a circular direction. Ready? Going around and around. Zigzag. Zigzag is a type of direction or path an object can move with a back and forth diagonal motion. So, if I was going to walk in a zigzag line, zigzag is going to take me a lot longer to get there than a straight line because I'm going back and forth in different directions. Slide. Slide is the movement of an object to smoothly glide or slip over a surface without rotating or flipping. So we're going to pretend like this is my slide. Actually, I think I want to use a flat object for this. So we don't want anything to rotate like wheels. So if I put this magnet onto this slide, we're gonna see the motion of slide, ready? Right onto the floor. That is sliding. Roll, roll is the movement of an object that turns over and over in a circular pattern. So this will be our last demonstration on movement. I have a marble and I'm going to roll it. Ready? Let me move this out of the way. And roll. Oop, right onto the floor. So boys and girls, that is our lesson on force and motion today. What I want you to do now is I want you to go with mom or dad, or grandma or grandpa, or your aunt or your uncle, whatever adult you're at home with today. And I want you to explore your house. And I want you to find as many different objects that move as you can. So get a piece of paper and you're either going to write down the word or you're going to draw a picture of something that moves. I'm going to give you a hint. If you're looking for something that moves in a circular pattern, you might want to try to find something that tells the time because something in there moves in a circular pattern. So remember, you're going to either write the words or draw a picture on a piece of paper at home of something that moves and talk to mom or dad or grandma, or grandpa, aunt, uncle, whoever's at home about it. And I want you to have fun. Have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you guys in school tomorrow. Bye.